Uganda is proud to have the African Big Five. In the two categories, carnivores and herbivores. In carnivores, we have lions, those are African lions, and then leopards. Then in herbivores, we have elephants, buffaloes, and rhinoceroses. And the big five doesn't actually imply the body sizes, but the impact an animal has on nature. So if we talk about lions and leopards, they're on top of the food chain. Their presence can reduce animal populations and their absence can let animal numbers increase. So in other words, they regulate the animal population. That is a big impact. Otherwise, if there is no predation, there can be inbreeding, there can be over multiplying and animals overcome the carrying capacity of their home ranges, and maybe they may die of starvation. But also predation helps in, you know, maintaining strong genes. The lesest are eaten, the strongest survive. So in the long run, you find that the generation you have of the strongest gene. Uh, the elephant is also referred to be an ecological designer. And that means it can decide to cause a forest where it has not been. And it can also create a uh, a flat area in where the vegetation has been. If you come to Murchison Falls, you can expect to see a big biome of vegetation called Borassus palm trees, which are distributed by elephants, like 80% of them. They eat the palm fruits, and because they have incomplete digestion, the more they poo, the more trees we get. African Cape buffaloes and rhinoceroses, we call them bulky feeders. They feed on the tall and low quality grass, exposing the short and high quality vegetation. Good for the other small antelopes, but as well in that feeding, since they live in big herds, they can change a grassland to a desert. Imagine L uh, buffaloes live in 100 to 1,000 members. They graze at the same time stepping on the vegetation. So this can easily alter grassland to a desert. <laughs>